they, what what do you know? What did they tell you? No, oh, they I I've been I've been here the whole time. I I have to that's why I need to talk to them and see what's going on. Melanie Martin, off and on girlfriend of Aaron Carter. The 34-year-old singer turned rapper and former teenage heartthrob was found dead in his Lancaster home off Vista Drive. I think they're up seven. Firefighters and paramedics dispatched in the morning. Neighbors saying they tried to help when word got out that something was wrong. My wife and I ran across the street. My wife's an RN, so we ran across the street and knocked on the door. Uh, and didn't get an answer at first, but then uh, I think it was the housekeeper that wound up answering the door. Um, so we asked her if we could help, and she just kept screaming, he's dead, he's dead. Investigators confirmed the housekeeper found Carter unconscious. In the upstairs bathroom bathtub, unresponsive. Paramedics not able to revive him, pronouncing him dead at the house. We are at the location because this may be a, a high-profile case. You can see from Sky Fox Media vehicles surrounding the home. Do you have a sense of what may have happened? Oh, uh, I don't want to talk right now yet. I'm sorry. Okay. I need to talk to the cops first. All right. We just had a great meeting with the TV show that I'm going to be doing. Carter here, posting on social media in late July, was vocal about his battle with drugs. He'd been touring on the RV parked outside his home. The younger brother of Backstreet Boys' is Nick Carter, Aaron actually started his singing career at nine when he sold a million copies of his first album. Boys try to be the fly, on the block. Following up with more success singing and plenty of TV exposure, including our own Good Day LA. I have my live band that's been with me for like 15 years. More recently, his behavior during live posts on social media delighted and concerned his fans. Yeah, your boy's going into TV. Lancaster Sheriff confirming they've been here before, checking on Aaron's welfare after fans called 911, fearing he was doing drugs, possibly overdosing. But he'd eventually open the door and say all was fine until today. His back, as he was trying to get his kid back, you know, trying to mend things with his fiance and. Um, it's just this horrible that it, you know, turned out and happened this way. Sheriff homicide detectives are here, but they say they do not suspect foul play. Of course, pending an investigation that will include a coroner's report. Yes, that will have toxicology in it. In Lancaster, I'm Christina Gonzalez, Fox 11 News.